All new at six, the state star witness who gave pivotal testimony in the Alec Murdoch trial tells us how forensics help put a murderer behind bars. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Crilmore traveled south of Columbia to talk with Dr. Kenneth Kinsey about the crime scene and why he calls the jurors heroes. You, you've got to be sure of your results. When it's the truth, I'm sure. And you've got to relate to that jury. I don't know of any way you could hold that shotgun out. A standout witness in Alec Murdoch's double murder trial. Dr. Kenneth Kinsey says the case is the highlight of his career. I was just a small part in this equation, and uh, it, I never expected this kind of attention. This is what I plan on doing, you know, the, re the rest of my life. So it, it was a blessing, but just unexpected. The crime scene expert from Orangeburg helped convict Alec Murdoch while captivating jurors and audiences during his testimony. And he says he used old fashioned police work to get to the facts. I try to be Andy Griffith with a crime scene background. And so far it's, it's worked for 22 years. Kinsey recreated the scene at the empty Moselle property in Colleton County, where Paul and Maggie Murdoch were brutally killed. I needed to see the scene, so I went and did my own measurements. And then you take the original photographs from the crime scene and you, you try to answer your questions. I see nothing that could exclude a six foot four shooter. Sticking to the facts when cross-examination got tough poking holes in the defense's theory that Murdoch couldn't be the shooter based on his height. You have an expert come in and say the shooter was five foot two, not five foot three, not five foot one, you know, not six foot. And I just thought that was just a waste of the court's time and it was utterly ridiculous. There's certain variables we don't know. We don't know how he held the gun. We don't know how he was standing. We don't know if he was kneeling. We don't know if he was standing on something. A court demonstration becoming a key moment when Attorney General Alan Wilson held a gun over Dr. Kinsey's head. He said, I want you to point that gun at me and I want me and you to demonstrate, you know, how Paul was shot, the fatal shot. Because we had all heard that it, he was shot down execution style and and I think we more than proved that wasn't true. Uh, and I said, well, Mr. Wilson, you're taller than me. Why don't you point the gun at me? And he, first he didn't want to. And I said, no, I believe, it, I believe it'll work out. So as far as visual effects were concerned, it, it worked perfectly. Rebuking claims that there were two shooters. When you work a hit or when someone is paid to go somewhere and assassinate someone, I don't know in my career that I've ever seen somebody go to a location and there'd be two guns sitting there waiting on them. Explaining why Murdoch used a shotgun to kill his son, Paul. A lot of people said, well, why, why did he use a shotgun? Well, because it was there. It, it was standing there. Then picking up a rifle to kill his wife, Maggie. You know, once it's empty, I've had to use both shells on one person now. The only other option is the rifle sitting there. And that rifle is, is so precise and so accurate. You know, just the wounds in Miss Maggie, you know that the person w was just haphazardly firing because that close with that rifle, it, it, it shouldn't have been that way. It was, it was really overkill. His testimony making an impact on the jury and ultimately the fate of Murdoch. Thankfully, I don't have to make the decision of guilt or innocence. I know in my heart the jury got it right, but those men and women, they're the heroes. I'm no hero. Those men and women are the heroes. In Orangeburg, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.